Second appearance is Sammy. People sleeping on him. People don't realize that there are still affordable key books in the marketplace. How do you feel about it? Yeah, I totally agree. I feel like second appearances get slept on and I feel like they're not talked about enough. Um, I feel like a fun part of the hobby is that even though I can't like, for example, I can't get that giant size X-Men one right now, but I can get that X-Men 94, you know, I enjoy it, love it, take it to cons, get it signed and stuff like that, where you get these books that are a fraction of the price. And some second appearances are like 10 and 20 bucks. I mean, I've found second appearances in my PC in dollar bins. We got a list of 10 books. Let's start them off with the first one. We got Nova number two. So the first second appearance that we're going to be talking about on the show today is Nova 2. You can find this as suggested pricing of $12 to $40 on the high. This is the first appearance of Powerhouse, first appearance of Condor, but most importantly why we're talking about it today is it is the second appearance of Nova, where Nova's first appearance is like kind of soaring to the moon. We find that Nova 2 is one of those books that you can find at your shops, online, or even at cons that are going on at a really affordable price and could even be found probably around 20 bucks. Completely agree. Comic Femme, when I first started talking about Nova on the channel, it was like three plus years ago. Kevin Feige joined a podcast and actually said that Nova was a character that they had pictured on the wall because they had planned to bring him to the screen. A year plus went by. He visited the same podcast again and said the same thing. Whatever lulls that experienced post the first spike got another shot of adrenaline and the book kept going up. July of this year, we heard rumors courtesy of Key Collector Comics that multiple Multiple characters were slated for live action adaptations. Nova being included, seeing a $40 suggested pricing on the high end for this book seems drastically low when the nine eights of Nova one exceed 1K. Next on the list of 10, hit the like, slap the subscribe. We have Thor 338, the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Tom, I love this issue because there is nothing like a thick, Thor cover, and not only is that, it's got Beta Ray, Beta Ray Bill. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was like stuttering. All right, so like he's like Tom said, it's the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill. We saw him already on the tower on Thor Ragnarok. He's already there. He already exists in the MCU. Yeah, his first appearance has gone to the moon, and I definitely understand that. But this book right here, it is, in my opinion, it's sleeping. At a mid of $8 and a high of 20 like we found a copy of this for our PC for less than 20 bucks. This is an incredible grab and I feel like it has so much room to grow. I cannot wait to actually see Beta Ray Bill on the big screen and once he's there, this book's going places. Butch in the house, he thinks this book is low as well. $20 average sales on the high end. That is the price that you would expect. Spec that is risky to hit, let alone spec for a character that we know exists in the MCU, as Sammy just said. What do we got at number eight? At number eight, we have Amazing Spider-Man 134. Not only is this an incredible action cover of Spidey and Tarantula, but it is the first appearance of Tarantula. But the reason why we have it today is because it is the second appearance of The Punisher. You can find this at a mid um, suggested pricing around $50 at a high end of $150. I know that there is so much hype, conversation, and drama going on about the Punisher, and I feel like that has just put him in front of everybody's faces, but not only just that, as his first appearance has just continuously gone up over the years, um, we find that second appearance something that's really obtainable and uh, findable as well in the wild. There's even some additional drama to this comic book because at the end of this book, we do see a full shot of the Punisher. I use the 180-181 threshold. Did Punisher show up the same amount as Wolverine does in 180 or more? In my opinion, it's more. Thus, it becomes the second full appearance. However, for the longest time, members have looked at 135, the next issue in this run, as the first second appearance. And they consider this one a second appearance in Cameo. I have to know what the community thinks in the comment section. Let me know. And I'm going to tell you about number seven on the list. We have Star Wars issue 43, suggested pricing of 
$15 on the mid and high end for $65. And it's on a downward trend. What's going on, Sammy? We have a double key to talk about. All right, we absolutely do, Tom. This is the first appearance of Lando. They have been like dangling Lando in our faces for way too long. But beyond that, it is the second appearance of Boba Fett. And I am a huge fan of Baby Yoda and Grogu. So yes, I am very excited about Mandalorian. Very excited about um, what they're doing with the book of Boba Fett. And so, yeah, we find this book trending down and... (laughs) It's like funny and not shocking because I don't know about you, Tom. One thing I've noticed about Star Wars is when Star Wars is between shows and movies, it's like crickets. But when that show or that movie is happening, Star Wars is absolutely on fire like immediately. That's what happens, which is why the comic fam needs to hit the subscribe button because we're going to be covering comic books like this. Not every book is extremely expensive. And some key books are worth having in the PC regardless of spec and others may see some upward trajectory happening. Next at the list, I put Vengeance issue number two on here. We have a Gabriel Del Otto bullseye cover that should make this comic $20 alone. However, This is the second appearance of America Chavez. Multiverse of Madness spec confirmed in the trailer. This book at 20 bucks is criminally underpriced. I can't believe that this book is only at a high of $20, but I'm super glad because number one, I haven't found this book in the wild yet for the first appearance. And number two, that white cover is dangerous. And number three, She's out there. She is in Lego. She is in the Doctor Strange trailer. She is in action more than just like a little drop. So I am so excited um, to not only see her on the big screen, but to hopefully get the second appearance before it is too late. And now another character we know is on her way practicing law. Are we going to see Daredevil? Are we going to see Bullseye? Well, you know, we're going to be seeing She-Hulk. I can't even express how excited I am to see She-Hulk because she is like a total badass. Um, Anytime I can see like that woman power on the big screen, I'm like all for it. So we've got the second appearance of She-Hulk at a mid of nine, high of 35. Um, So it's definitely not too late before the show comes, which I can't even remember when that's happening, Tom. Do you? Last I checked, sometime in 2022, and with She-Hulk won 9.8, comfortably sitting above $1,000 for months now, the second appearance under 40 seems better and better by the day. Next up on second appearances, we have Spectacular Spider-Man 90. This is one of my favorite black suit keys because I got to remind the community that not only is ASM 252 the first published black suit appearance, there were two others that happened two weeks later. That's right. It's not just about Secret Wars 8. Matter of fact, these three books that I've just mentioned, which we have again, ASM 252, the first appearance that debuted at the end of January. A lot of publications say January 31st, two weeks later, we have released at the same time, Spectacular Spider-Man 90 and Marvel Team Up issue number 141, both tying the second appearance of the black suit. It wouldn't happen until months, six plus months later in Secret Wars 8 that we would find out how he received the suit on the Battle World Secret Wars event that took place. So for me, you see... Three different keys that happen within two weeks of each other. All of those seem more exciting to me than Secret Wars 8, which is on a downward trend, by the way. While we know Secret Wars is great spec, however, the Spidey in that classic black suit that would later become Venom is such a major collectible that you got to look at the two other appearances because some would even state that all three of these should be tied as the first. So number three... On our second appearance list is X-Men 130. We definitely had to pop in an X-Men issue. Some of you guys know me. I'm a huge X-Men fan. It's like kind of behind me. And this issue, it's like a quadruple key. Quadruple key. 
Oh my gosh. All right, you've got the first appearance of Dazzler, second appearance of Kitty Pride, second appearance of Emma Frost, the White Queen, and the first full appearance of Sebastian Shaw. Um, you can get this at a mid suggested pricing at $80, um, upwards to $225, and it's on a downward trend. I find this book. I see this book often a lot in the wild, I should say. And it's just one of those books that, you know, where we see like Kitty Pride X-Men 129 is it's it's up there. That's for sure. We see 130 as that book that's like easier to grab. A mutant character that is beloved by the fans of her. Like Comic Book Girl 19 has even said multiple times on the mic that this is like one of her top three favorite mutants. And when you meet a Dazzler fan, They go all in on Dazzler. Absolutely. I'm just laughing because it is so, so true. Um, Tom and I were just talking too about um, what if, and I was like, I was crossing my fingers for so long. I'm like, okay, what if Dazzler becomes the Herald of Galactus, please? (laughs) Well, hold tight. It may happen. We still have more what if shows. And once the mutants get introduced officially in the MCU, All of these books are going to be ones you wish you grabbed when they were on the low, just like this one. Next on the list, at number two, Incredible Hulk, issue 182. Now, technically, the third time Wolverine pops up in continuity in a comic book. The technical second appearance in cameo because he's so brief in 182 that giant size x-men actually gets the title of the first second appearance however for the longest time this was known as either the second or third appearance doesn't matter because when 180 is outpriced 181 is gone to the moon and back and back to mars now going to pluto which isn't even a planet what the hell well giant size x-men You're not going to find that anywhere. So 182 looks better by the month because this book's on the downward trend. That's right. Take a look at this. I actually wrote this up because I put this on me and David's list from Comic Book Investments. We did a cold list, uh, 10 comics that are down in price. September 8.0s hit 637 on the high for this book. Current prices are under $300. I really like what you said there, Tom, because you're right, like 180, 181, giant size X-Men, they have gone up so much, they're hard to find, but I love that Hulk 182 is one of those books that's left behind on the walls, and sometimes you can find it in the back issues as well at cons or shops. Number one on the list today, hit that like, stop the subscribe, we have Avengers issue number 11. Now, the suggested pricing is going to be a little tough on this one because... Although it is double-digit Avengers, it's low double-digit. We have the second appearance of Kang in comic books. We also have the first Spider-Man crossover. Mid-suggested pricing is hovering around that $300 marker. And on the high end, $1,000. But again, depending on grade, you're going to be paying a pretty penny for this one. But... Kang was easily one of the biggest villains introduced this year. Probably tied with Kingpin in Hawkeye. More spoilers. I'm sorry, watch Hawkeye. And Sammy, you just experienced selling a low-grade copy of this. How'd it go? I do this silver bronze age sale every Saturday morning. And I'm like, you know what? You guys are waking up at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 on the West Coast where you are, Tom. Um, And I'm like, all right, we're going to do this. I'm going to bring the books, something to wake up for. I bring stuff like Avengers 11, right? And it's fun because, you know, someone got a great deal. I feel like it was um, a lower grade copy, but I mean, gosh, this book is so old. <laughs> it's been around for so long. Um, I Every time I see a book that has survived like 50 years, 40 years, or even 30, and it's paper, it just amazes me. So anyways, it sold for a little over $100. Someone got an incredible deal, which I love that. And that just is one of those things that goes to show that even though you see it at the suggested prices of a mid 290, you can still find this book out there on the cheap, whether it's, you know, in whatnot auctions or eBay sometimes when you find those crazy deals, cons, or um, out at your local shops. Starting the auction off at $1 for one minute, like we always do. This is one of our favorite covers, and you got it. A little bit of that, what y'all been looking for, right? A little bit of that, for what y'all been looking for, right? 